What's up guys, welcome to another episode of the Yi Heng Podcast and today's interview guest is going to be someone very very special. So I have noticed his work um, because it's very close to my gym. So I've seen this graffiti work placed on the facade of E-Mart and it got to me really really like upfront and I really really enjoyed it and that got me thinking because now I do observe that a lot of projects are using graffiti in their facilities deck as well their common walls and it's a very refreshing way of providing something different while maintaining the cost and today's guest is no other than Cloak Work so he's a very young chap Great artisan that does beautiful work and it's seriously very mesmerizing to see him work. Plus, it's also a very negative vibe when we talk about gravity. So today we want to clear things out because I do see a lot of commercial value for their work as well. So this is me trying to support our local creators as well. Also to find a common ground between property and the art world because I do see a potential for that. And with that, enjoy the podcast. So Chen. Welcome to the podcast. Hey, thanks, Sean, for inviting um, me. So for those who don't understand uh, who is he or don't know him yet, I strongly suggest to do so because I really see a lot of uh, beauty in his work. So he's a graffiti artist, right? Uh, maybe he do his own intro, like mm. what I do for him, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Mm. I do my own intro. Like, Hi, my name is Clockwork, a.k.a. Chen. Uh, I'm a graffiti artist as well as an illustrator. Mm. Yeah, based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Graffiti artist. Yeah. So, um, what got me noticed? Uh, so I know him from another different podcast, right? Oh, then yes. after that podcast, then I s- generally start to see his work because when I see your lo- the 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 ideal the your avatar design, mm. then and your bubbly fonts, right? After that, I see generally everywhere mm-hmm. up to the level where i just went uh langkawi for a trip for a work trip right and i saw you your work there it's crazy like and it's so distinct and what's more amazing is your latest work with uh, the food panda lately mm. i think that is damn awesome like oh. you know, the campaign is so huge then we'll talk about that later another one is the e-mart in sunway university so before that, um, I want to know like how did you get into gravity first? Uh, since I was young, I always uh how to say visual person image. Like when I flip over the textbook, I always like how to say always uh the Doodle. images uh. always attract me first, then only text. Mm. Yeah, this get me interest in like um image drawing illustration and like. I like I very hate like reading and something one like I mm. prefer to read comic book and then from that on I I position myself like as an artist and a vandalizer or someone who like to draw draw a lot mm. yeah mm-hmm. so when you do like when did you start like your very first work very first work is like I think around form five there is a graffiti contest back then uh, from FNN mm. like something like unleash your creativity or unleash your yeah, talent yeah, yeah. like that yeah and yeah it was it was like oh I think I want to try and join mm. yeah and then I got finalists and then from from there on like they at the time got like mentor like teaching how to use spray how to what is graffiti about mm. then the time it just at the beginning, it's just like you buy an F and N can and then you just draw on top of it and like take a photo and submit to the H- headquarter for approval, like mm. for, for get into finalists. Then I chosen already, then into the mentorship and learn about graffiti, mm. street art, like painting and stuff. Then only like competition and slowly into it. Cool. Form 5, then did you go to university or do you study art further? Yeah, after after I graduate from um from five and then I go into like I researched like, a few college um mm. around Malaysia la, mm. but of course the one is like highest rank but so expensive back yep, then. Yep, yeah. Yep. And then I was like go try uh, this design academy of art in mm. Wangsa Maju. Mm, yeah. mm, 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 mm. I see. So like when you start okay, first of all, right, it's such a uh, negative vibe of art because 
when you go into the streets, right? When mm. I go into shop offices, when I want to invest or I go and do uh, side visits with my clients or whoever, I see in the back lanes, it's always all these graffiti arts. Right? Then when you start venturing into it, right? Is it a problem to your parents? Uh, my parents is always supporting me like throughout the journey. They don't like, how to say, they don't like uh, ask me to like study lawyer, accountant or mm. doctor. They just like, okay lah. It's your life. It's your choice. As long as you are happy with what you are doing and can make a living, yeah, just go for it. Oh, yeah, it's so such cool. a rare thing. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> me, you're hearing her. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, she didn't force me to think so, so much. But it's just... That's why I really like what you do, right? Because now something so negative like that only appears in like toilets last time in like the negative spaces of any property now your work is on the front facade your mm. work is the feature of the shop office instead right how was that transition like for you like how did you get discovered and how did you get okay first of all do you get paid doing graffiti you know? yeah sometimes i get commission like mm. um to paint like some of the officers like mm. for brands mm. collaboration but yeah also some is like how to say like my life motto is like give and take mm. but i believe like what i earn from the commission or project i will like allocate some of the fee to like back to the society by painting more mm. and more graffiti and my vision is just like i hope people i i, I want to educate that people like Graffiti is not like something that back then relate to like gangsterism, vandalism, mm. this kind. Yeah, Graffiti can be something colorful and cheerful and something like make a place that look less run down. Mm. Cool, man. Like I totally agree. Like when you look at hip hop, you look at street wares, you look at street culture. Those were from the streets, right? Yeah. Those were like for against capitalism, against whatever. But that became cool. Right, so when you see, I, I see a lot of like Pasar Malam, a lot of those commercial areas, they try to revive. Mm. Usually, they start from street culture. Yes, then they like they want to attract like younger audience. Yeah, yeah. So then, like break dancing and rapping, or how I wish I can rap, but <laughs> <laughs> I seriously wish I can rap. <clears throat> like I, I listen to a lot of hip hop. Anyway, um, so after you start doing this, right? Currently in your company or do you still do work yourself or you have assistance with you? Yeah, I always I always do work myself. Like I want to make sure my quality is on the same par with me. Mm. Yeah. But sometimes if I need like extra hand, for example, filling in mm. those like, yeah, I will ask for assistance. Mm. Like I'll just do the um how to say important part, like, which is like outline, mm -hmm. detailing. Yeah. What's the ideation process like like for example like your for those who because who is just listening right this is a podcast so you don't get visuals but i do recommend you guys check his work at e -Mart in sunway university i think the facade wall it's i was standing at the university in front yeah i was oh. standing there i stopped by because that's where i work out so i stopped by then i look at it for very very long like there's like the bears, there's like humans, then there's like a lot of very fine little, things. Little, little things, yeah. Yeah, and that made me wonder, what's your ideation process? Like like how long before you can put your drawing on the wall? Oh, firstly, it's like, okay, let's say the company approached me. Okay, they first is like they want to understand who I am, my mm. style. And then next is like, they will like, okay, give me the brand identity. Like mm. I will research and study the brand identity as well as I will ask that um, maybe they have some story they want to represent mm. or some story they want to tell. So I co I convey their message, their idea, and then infuse me my own, like how to say, my own idea and concept and then come up with some sketch. Mm. Yeah. For them to approve just a rough sketch like black and white with some rough coloring mm -hmm. yeah on ipad like digital but you lay on the facade itself la. yeah oh okay. like superimpose on mm -hmm. onto the wall mm -hmm. and then let the bosses or the marketing management. people branding yeah. people to see after that once they approve ready then i have to like plan out the coloring mm -hmm. yeah how much this 
uh, black color I need to get, how many, red, blue and something, mm. okay. Then after that, allocate the paint ready, then organize the how the sky lift. Mm. Yeah, sometimes I ask the client to do that because it's mm. like time consuming. Yep. Okay. Then after that, ready to action. Yeah, it could be, usually the size of wall, I, it might, it took around maybe a week. Yeah. For that facade, it took a week. Yeah. How many hours you draw a day? Maybe nine in the morning, draw until one, and then the sun is too hot already. Yeah. Take a rest until maybe three, and then continue until five. Yeah. Wow, not easy eh. It's not easy for you, but like when I'm in the zone, I'm very passionate about it. Eh, it feels like eh, time time comes mm. up so fast, you know. Mm. If I got already, the, the sky lift guy need to move. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. And it's very interesting for me, right, from a property perspective, because if I am a tenant of a shop office right now, uh, there's only a few ways to kind of revive old shop offices. Like it's a fresh coat of paint. Mm. Or oh, I put the signal big, big that covers the entire facade. Yeah, China man style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then if I have like a brand identity, like this coffee brand or furniture brand, we will hack off the whole facade and do glass walls, mm-hmm. right? But your approach suddenly became so relevant because of the crowd. Mm-hmm. Right, because Summer University is right in front and that is who they are trying to attract. Mm, yeah. And the amount of colors you use, right? I, especially the highlights that you say, the highlights is it, it makes it alive. Mm-hmm. And what I like also it's when you also teach youngsters, right? Mm. Like like where how where do you teach and how do you how do these people reach out to you? They they reach me like throughout the Instagram DM or something. Mm. Like they ask like Hey, next time if you are I'm I'm painting around, can they come and have mm. a look like for behind the scene or something like that? I think that's important. Because back then I learned also like that. Like I go to like uh government uh, graffiti competition. Mm. Like I always look the how how the graffiti artists work from their art from the sketch to fill in to detailing to outline. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think this helps to how to say inspire a new generation to get into like graffiti. Like I, I believe a lot of like people want to try out, but they don't know where and yeah. how. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it I think if it's done badly, then it becomes vandalism. Mm. Right? Yeah. If it's done beautifully, then it's, it's art. Become, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like especially the Basa Sunny, the bridge. I think ah, yes. the, the river the river bank. Ah, the river bank last thing. time was used to like how to say used to like organ like every year there there's a how to say a government or or graffiti artist will organize a graffiti jam at the river like mm. along the river is a happening mm. like 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 how to say graffiti and unites yeah but now they are revamped already they want to make it like river of life yeah yeah, yeah. so the, the other river that is not like how to say widely popular is the Gelate Riverbank. Oh, yeah. okay. So you guys are now there, like generally. Yeah. So if you want to there. see better graffiti works, it's, it's there. there. And there also, like for newbie who want to practice graffiti, mm. like no place, yeah, always can go there and practice graffiti over there. But just, I mean, graffiti also have their our own code, like don't um paint something shitty on top of a nice piece. Nah. Oh, yeah. oh. In, in somewhat, that's challenging, right? It's more like a, how to say a disgrace. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It's a dissing. La. Yeah. It's a dissing la, in, in rap terms. Very weird, la, you see me to speaking rap terms. <laughs> 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 but anyway, um, when you do such works, like for example, I'm a client. Mm. Like when I visit Penang's uh, properties, right? I do see very commonly, mm. they apply mural or they apply graffiti mm. on feature walls around the facilities. So this is me being a property management person. La. How long can it last, the colors? Uh, usually, if I use like high quality paint, like UV resistant, it could last around maybe they five years. UV resistant. Yeah, yeah. We have UV resistant paint. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh. Like imported from German one. Yeah. One can is cost around almost 30 one color, one can. Yeah, not the local one with seven ringgit comparison. Wow. Yeah. It's not cheap. Yeah. And you say it's five years? Yeah, maybe more. 
So if it's indoor, it will be longer lah. It will be permanent. Yeah. Oh, if it's indoor, <laughs> it will be permanent. How ignorant of me. Yeah. So if it's outdoor, like the the one in the E-Mart one, so that will be around three yeah. to five years because of rain and shine. Yeah, rain, rain, rain and shine also depend on the how, like the sun, you know. The, yeah. The direction. Yeah, the direction of the sun. And I think the base coat matters more, right? Mm. Your canvas. Yes. Like, how to say, like, if you are going to, like, how to say, build a, put a plywood mm. at the, on the, at the outdoor and then put some, like, coating, like, not weatherborne or something, mm. exterior paint. It not, no matter how, no matter what good quality paint I use, it still won't last because, like, you know, the material, like, absorbing water, expand or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah because you are spraying on the canvas and if the yeah. canvas... Foundation is always important. Like, mm. apply to property too. Che, che. <laughs> che. Wow. Okay. Um, then, like, when you do this kind of work, okay, naturally, because of the nature of it being a bit negative, is mm. it always take, does it always take place, like, for the river banks, or those non comments non-commercial work? Is it always taking place at night only? Uh, no, we don't paint at night, like, because first it's like, I can see say, the colour. Yeah, can see, <laughs> cannot see the colour is one thing. And then, like, secondly, it's like, looks suspicious. Mm. Yeah. And looks dangerous, suspicious, mm. this kind of thing. And then cannot take a good photo, mm. most importantly, yeah. Oh. Like, because you are so famous, once I see your... No, I'm not yet famous, okay? Hey, no, man. I think, I think it's quite there already. Like, because I think it's either if you are in the culture or you are not. Mm. Uh, so, and it's very rare, especially for our race, like Chinese, to yeah. do this kind of artwork. Especially, like, you see Chinese and artists, right? Wow. It's a very, very <laughs> rare thing because of our teaching, right? Mm. And now, how long after you learn, right, you get your first project and how frequent in terms of income right mm. because like we we kind of got into properties also like you, you told me about your property that you bought mm. then what is very curious in my opinion is like the back you know, it means your income is very consistent i would say like i'll say like roller coaster like big and then maintain a bit and then like that yeah oh because it, the campaign is either very big yeah then like what i how to say is like it's like uh, more like a financial mani- managing. Yeah. Mm. It's not about how much I earn, I think. Mm. Mm. So like big in your scale, it's like Food Panda campaign. Ah. Yeah, Food Panda also a few years ago, I painted like Asia HQ, Red mm. Q. Yeah. Wow. That was your work also? Yeah. Like 2019, 18. Mm. Yeah. Why let them you now also young, la, but that time to consider you to paint an HQ, right? And I really think that's why like a lot of people will be very weird. Like, why do I get you? Why do I get yeah, clo- why, work? Why am I here? <laughs> in in this podcast, right? Because we we spoke to a wall expert, internal wall expert, Vasari, okay. G, the GM came here last few days, I think, right? Then your work is then also interior wall decoration. Mm-hmm. Like now, if you go into a few apartments in KL Eco City, I think the lobby is mm. also graffiti. And now, because of this movement, they want to support local culture. Mm. Then they draw hibiscus, which I think is weird. Uh, this is like, uh, how to say? Right. Uh, typical. Uh, right, yeah. very predictable. Oh, I want local, then I want Bandera, Malaysia. Yeah, Bandera, Malaysia. Then KLCC. KLCC. <laughs> uh, how to say, Hornbill. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's nice, but not fashionable. Not mm. fashion, yeah. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> then when I say such thing, then the building manager like, look at me. You know, you know culture. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> then with all those experience, right? Now you acquired your property as well. Mm-hmm. And how was that journey? Like, like why did you <clears throat> decide to get a property? Oh, firstly, it's like, how to say, I've been staying with my parents. Now I want to try something like more independent. Mm. Yeah. Experience the adulthood. This is my own opinion. And also, maybe I want more personal space. Mm. Yeah. And because like, as an artist, I store a lot of spray paint material and stuff. Yeah. I just need a space. Yes. Mm. If you don't mind. Yeah. Like, when when do you buy the... <clears throat> is, an, is it an apartment? Is it a- uh, It's a flat. 
like I don't know flat condo apartment what's the difference that uh. like it's the how to say low low rise like maybe five floor max those mm. kind yeah but leave one ah uh, no leave one oh no yeah. leave one okay I stay like maybe second floor I mm. I like to I like the reason I like this is because I like to be like as low as possible you feel the nature can hear bird chipping mm. look from the balcony can see trees yeah so the ground floor is it shop lots or is it units units oh so it's yeah. a residential compound type like it's not the mixed development type like. yeah how about the mixed development so so there, there will be two types of five floors one, and many do not know this <clears throat> like a lot of low cost flats right mm. let's talk about flats first like. flats why it's limited to five floors mm. because anything more than five i need to put a leaf oh it's a building regulation and after i need to put a leaf <clears throat> maintenance becomes a problem Yes. So what's worse is you have a leaf that cannot be used. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so my well don't have leaf. And there will be uh, two types or so. One is full residential where you have several of them together. Mm, like so several it, blocks, is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it becomes like a community. Some is where it's on a roadside where the ground floor are commercial areas where the shops Oh, like shop lots like in the sea park, those uh, kind of... Uh, yes, it? yes, yes. Then if you go into Penang, this typology takes place more because every street, right, you will have hawker food and it's it's a debate. Lah. So like for your type, it's more private mm. for better quiet. It's quiet. Yeah, you quiet. can park. Actually, it's not bad. One. Car park is an issue. Ne? Yes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes park outside. Sometimes yeah, yeah. Park. My, my wife's last unit so got extra. Mm, yeah. Mm. yeah, so... so oh, when we talk about car park everywhere, also car park like that. If I buy luxury yeah. one, also got car park also problem. So if right at night, uh, two lane become one lane. <laughs> yeah, correct. Then uh, because of that also, if it's a commercial type of arrangement, then it's more convenient. Like got shop, uh, got barber, uh, got dobi, uh, mm. got, got mama at the side. Uh, so those will be way more convenient. Mm. Personally, I do appreciate the residential one more. Uh-huh. Because... Ultimately, my kids in the future, right, they can just run around or whatsoever. Uh, more it's, safety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's less, it's not usually at the main road. Lah. And was the loan process difficult for a freelancer like you? Uh, no. Yeah. Absolutely oh. no, I think. No. Quite no. smooth. Oh, that's nice. Oh. And it's a sub sale. Yeah, sub sale. I and I like sub sale. The reason is like I immediately can go in and feel. You know, mm, mm. it's like if you see a model, you say, uh, I want east side, west side, mm. or whatever. Then I will be like, eh, how if there is another block in front that I don't know? Mm, mm, yeah, mm. and then also I personally like sun a lot, mm. like morning sun. This side, this is the your unit, uh, this, but I don't know the sun. Orientation, Which direction, and yeah, <clears throat> whatever it is. Unfortunately, lah, like yeah. when this I see preference, yeah, and every time when people go into new projects, I can draw all diagrams for you, but ultimately, right, if you cannot visualize, then it's very difficult. Mm. Like for me, when I look floor, I, I look at buildings way better by drawings. Mm. So if I look into a floor plan, right, oh, I know where is this, what's the potential problem, oh. efficiency is around 81% and for me, it's nature, like for yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You you like in, you're uh, two meter, three meter high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So to me, it's like, oh, this one, eh, this one macam tak ngam. Oh. Huh. It's like for you, the color. Yes. Right, like red to me, like whatever red. Yeah, like. your, your red is red. I have like ketchup red, this pink red, orange red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So I think it's, it was very surprising for me, like for a freelancer like you, who will prioritize flexibility first, in my opinion, but you chose to buy a property. Like what was the decision or thought process like compared like, because when you throw in this amount of money and renovation, you're doing the renovation, right? Mm. Compared to renting and you getting your own place. Oh, like a lot of different, like firstly, I look at properties more, not like how to say, not like a uh, personal gain or something. It's mm. more like self-expression. Yeah. If renting, I would say, how to say, like you rent, you cannot customize your space. It's like, it's like that already, mm. the layout. Like you cannot suddenly want to, uh, how to say, hack a wall or something, mm. make the kitchen, make two walls become like big living space. Yeah. Mm. I think for, you, you straight away buy already, you can like, how to say, like, okay, I can do whatever I want. Is and that is very important for you. Yeah. Like customization and more like personal taste. 
And you just demonstrated, right? Like there are just so many different buyers. Mm. Like when I sell properties back then, like 10 years ago, there are run down shop offices in Mi Lai oh. that nobody want. Like the whole row is dead. All the metal, all the aluminum, all got stolen. Then my friend bought his buyer and he bought the whole row. Wow. That is when I learned everyone buys property with their own intent. Mm. So like we, I kind of generalize it to own stay investment and mm. trophy. So, oh. so one is when you want to buy for a family, the setting must be different. If I want to buy for investment, the rental must be yeah. certain amount. Then if I buy for trophy, it's when I want to show off. Imagine yeah, like I got one row here. In- or, or if I got a unit in four seasons mm-hmm. or whatsoever, then I flex. La. Then when I go auction market, I used to hang out in auction market a lot. So, so there will be one apartment that is 170,000. 170,000. Mm, okay. Corner lot. So market price, it's around 190. So okay. I put in and try my luck. La. The unit became almost 300 to 400,000. Wow. After bidding. What's the reason? Because it's a fight between two neighbors. Oh. So these two neighbors, because the nature of property, it's one and only. Yes. <laughs> so it's one and only. Then these two neighbors want to buy that lot so they can extend in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then okay. because of that, everybody, tr- these two neighbors try to outbid. You know? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> then like I was asking because I was very young I was like 21, 22 then I was asking the uncle why these two fighting Yeah, because it's of that unit and it took me a while to understand that everyone <clears throat> has their own intent when they buy a certain property mm. and sometimes we when we look and it's very easy to judge yeah why he buy that unit like, it's not like I can buy another unit upstairs that it mm. makes more sense but the nature of property is one and only, especially for landed. Oh. So when I invest, if I were to invest in a shop office, right, I would invest the unit next to the corner lot. Oh, okay. Because if a copy TM open, they need next door, they will rent from you. Or, yeah. a, or a bank, they will also get from you. They will usually take like corner lot plus two more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so so that is the that's main. Fun. Yeah, so that's the main re- properties of property. Does it make sense? <laughs> <laughs> but by the way, let's say okay, the apartment, right? Mm. Okay, two neighbor want to fight for one yep. unit. So if either one neighbor got acquire it, can they? Uh, how to hack the world and connect it? Um, no, <clears throat> no official answer is no. Okay, but I think now it depends on the age of the property. Oh. Why? Because the technology of building is different. Mm, yeah, last time true. it's column and beams. Then the party walls are just fillers with bricks. Yes. And it's like cement sand brick, not like the mine. Brick. Or like yours. Yeah. Okay. So with that kind of structure, then it's hackable because the wall does not carry any load. Mm. But now the construction method is the walls are way thinner. The, the new, new technology for apartments right now, right? The walls are all cast as a piece. Oh. So if you look into brand new buildings, right? Especially in those in KL, the whole wall is load bearing. What load, load bearing means the, the column carries weight. Oh, okay, okay. So like when the like let's if say you break one, it's like eh, if you break one, it's like the Jenga already. Correct, correct. So that's why it's the main difference, right? For those who have stayed old apartments and new apartments, the main difference is when you nail the wall. Mm. Because now the walls of new apartments are very high grade concrete. Oh. And it's very, very solid. And it takes special nail or special screws to actually go into the wall. And it's not advisable also oh. because it will somewhat affect the structural integrity of the columns. Not columns, the wall. So if it's an old arrangement type, like old houses, when you have two columns, these two actually holds the wall, mm. holds the entire structure. But the walls are just for partition purposes. Oh, it's like it's like you can do anything you want. Yeah, so you can actually put in a glass, you can put in wall, put in whatsoever. So like your case, mm. um, if you get a structural engineer to come and verify. Already verify. Yeah. Uh, then then you can actually do renovation, right? Mm. Just that for people who don't understand, wow, I stay upset, you hack off the wall, I will fall or collapse or not. Really? That will be the fear. Oh. Um, but on a new type of apartment, because of the new technology and construction method, right? Unfortunately, we no longer can, mm. can hack walls. Huh? So I think this is a very not popular point that I share a lot, right? Mm. Because of the different... And... When I look into car parks, I look into all this as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I noticed that. Yeah, so like, 
the most effective car park layouts are still columns and beams. Oh, so okay. like you see like columns, 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 columns. But if you go into KL City Center, because the towers are too high, okay, that's why the weight and the load is too high. You need uh, not only columns, you need load bearing walls, very oh. high concrete, great walls, right? Suddenly when you park the car, the whole wall next to your car, right? It's all wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, I noticed. Uh, then, then you feel not safe in the car park. And it's very dark. Because when you're on a light, you cannot penetrate through the wall. Ma. Okay. But when it's all columns, very thin, right? And the ceiling is not jagged, jagged type. Mm. It's a flat type. Then the light can penetrate through the space. Mm. So as you walk around, the experience of walking to your car becomes very, very pleasant. Mm. Again, Attention to detail. A lot of people don't do at least. Because the car park strategy indirectly also determines whether the project can make money or not. Mm, oh, and also like this kind of thing also very hard when you see a model yes. in a sales gallery. You don't see the car park. Yeah. <clears throat> and unfortunately, that's the case. So what you bring up just now in terms of certainty, I think is very good. Like for first time home buyers, they unfortunately, they don't have the down payment mm. or the capital to do so. So mm. later we talk about how you get your first capital but the certainty portion, right? From the drawings, basically what's promised to you as a buyer, it's what's in the SPA only. Mm. In the sales and purchase agreement, that's all. If I build halfway, my cost burst ready, I got no more money, right? I will need to cut costs in order to proceed further. Yes. I will cut costs at common areas. What does that mean? Uh, in like swimming pool. Because when you buy, I cannot, I, I won't promise you in the basketball court, the flooring will be rubber. Oh, okay, okay. I yeah. can make it just like color cement. Oh. <laughs> you can, you can, in the model, it's green. Ma. As yeah. long as it's green, can already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then it, if it's a swimming pool, the tiles, I can downgrade the tiles. Instead of using like high-end one, I can just, or chin chai. Oh. Or is it like a uh, genuine hardwood furnitures but then now I just buy some plastic chairs mm. and put it Yeah, around. I recently watched your video about the one in Kampung Baru one. Mm. Yeah, the property. Mm. Your review is like, wow, so whack, man. Mm. Is it? Yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, that is the reality mm. when people buy yet to build property. Like, you really have a lot of uncertainty. Mm. Like, the view, I can say that you face these buildings, face this building, KLCC view. Generally, almost all buildings will have KLCC view like, in KL. Yeah, like, I, I, I don't get it. Like, what's the point of KLCC view? If I want to go KLCC, I just drive, like, let's say 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Like. So, that depends on the intent. If I run an Airbnb, mm -hmm. So it's important to have the KLCC view from my living room. Mm. So when I open the curtain, then we have a fine dining at the unit. Oh, then the right. background. Instagrammable. Yes. Then it's oh, then people will pay premium for mm. it. But for a normal everyday, right? I didn't even op I don't even open my curtain when. Yeah. <laughs> for my bedroom. <laughs> so then, so it depends on whether you need it or not. Like mm. for 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 I think for star residents. Oh, star resident at Yakuan Singh. Yeah, yeah. The rooftop, right? The view to KLCC is amazing. Oh. Then the other one is the Muse. Muse also okay. Muse is also okay. But the one that we went that is too close one, which is which is W. Uh. The the one next to the Pinang is is at Jalan Pinang one. Oh Stone Stoner? No. Uh, I forgot, but when we when we step up there, because the facility deck is a whole separate structure, and when we step when I went there, KLCC is like at my face. <laughs> it's like people it's, working at the office, and then you're like, you yeah, I can me. almost see in the office, so it's too near. So when you take picture, it's very hard to take. So I think yeah. the widest lens also cannot take. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I so think, all those, uh, needs to be taken into consideration mm. when you buy your first uh, so you really gotta know your intent mm. and also one thing is like okay you buy this it's like okay it's one tower then suddenly oh you see that part is you think like okay you're going to live there for for your life and then without like you mm. see the part suddenly boom one unit come up or oh, one block yeah right? one block mm. also this kind of thing uh. <coughs> i think i think when buy first you, like i think when buy a property have to see whether it's a, how to say it, a mm. residential area already or not like there's no potential there is another unit going to build is it mm. something like that um 
Yes and no. Oh. So when it's a fully developed area, then it's fine. Mm. <coughs> or it's a must. So it also depends whether it's a massive master plan where the entire 1,000 acre belongs to one developer. Mm. Then I can plan what's next to it. Right? I know because I got control. I own the land. But if you go for individual projects in city center especially, there's empty land next to it, right? Which is gazetted as maybe Padang or gazetted mm. as Surau. It can be changed, right? Oh. And no one can foresee because of the change of... Like for Wangsa Maju, right? They are supposed to be five malls. Wow. Now already <laughs> almost... KL East Mall is it considered Wangsa Maju yeah. area? KL East Mall, Melawati Mall, Wangsa Walk. Mm. What else? Then like a two Aeon there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Two eh, one Aeon is the near the Wangsa the, Stapak one uh, and, and then the, the Kramat one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, so the Sedia Wangsa one. So yeah, look, and got one if you go a little bit more in the Jalan Gending Klang one. Oh, uh, the what? Festive. Ah, uh, KL Festive. Uh, uh, what more? Yeah. yeah, I always forget them all. But yeah, so it's overpopulated with more. So suddenly, if you have a more land, I appeal as a developer to change, hey, let me do something else. Can I build a service apartment? Mm. Then the develop the, the DBKL will like, okay, like, it makes sense. Uh, how many more malls you want? Right? Oh, yeah. So it also responds to the current moment of time. Okay. Uh, so it's not necessarily like empty land means bad or empty land means good. Oh, so it really depends on what's on that land when it's coming as, a, as a, mm. yeah. So when you that's coming back to your in like when your first house right, after this property, would you still consider investment like in property? Mm, I think property investment is not not it's not my how to say, uh, not my cup of tea. Yeah, mm. cup of tea. I would say. Oh, why? Uh? Too why? attractive. Uh. I don't know. I just don't see myself in property investment. Oh, let yeah. me change your mind. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> then personally, do you invest? Like you being like an artist? Mm. Um, maybe invest in <laughs> NFT. Like, I don't... It, property, I still like... I still... Okay, maybe now I just acquire one, but I don't know in future, maybe I'm interested or not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when your financial stabilized or mm. whatsoever, right? You got abundance. Yeah. Mm. And like when you speak about NFT, I think you just launched your NFT project as well. Yes, like this year, early this year. I think that's so cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And and it's this if if you are an artist, if you are a creator or illustrator or whatsoever, right? You guys really gotta pay attention to the space, especially the NFT space, because whatever work that you do outside right, is almost irrelevant when it comes to NFT already. Like, mm. Right? <clears throat> and like I want to support you as an artwork that mungkin I ask you to come and paint my house man. yeah yeah a lot of things like hey I like your work takkan like you go there and then knock out the wall and then put in your house yeah, yeah. that is another way of support uh, right mm -hmm. so I do like I, it means uh, people do like your work and people support you and there's no utilities to your artwork right yeah it's just like upload like let's say in the future if I launch something then okay lah maybe I let uh, them know first. Yeah, let them know first or I like give them as a token of appreciation and supporting. Mm, mm, mm. But, but I don't want to promise like utility first because it's like it's it's for me like, personally, it's more like okay, I promise mm. you this if you buy this. Mm. Like it's not like genuinely support, you know. Yeah, because a lot of people unfortunately buy to flip. Uh. Mm, yeah. You can buy mine and flip also. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> like for my project is uh it's more of a journey kind of thing. Mm, yeah, I see that. Yeah, so when people buy, then they meet me for three hours first mm. to really know them as a person, like what drives them. Then when I have like a uh, watch buying tours, mm. when I go into Rolex or whatsoever, like, then when I go into property galleries or first dips of show units, I will bring them together. Like. Yeah, that's really nice. Like, yeah, like. like they get to, mm. how does it understand you more yeah and i personally like think your it's journey the other, yeah. i personally think it's the other way i get to understand like oh. if by you coming in right and i don't know how much of my videos you see i really hope the videos do change perspective of youngsters towards property it's mm. not that complicated mm. 
just that when I want you to understand something so that I can collect your money, mm. it's a very different thing. Like teachers usually makes things very complicated. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. To secure their job. Yes. But for me, I need you to understand investment. Mm. That's why I make things very, very simple. It's not easy. It's just simple. Mm, yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> right? it's 简单, but 不容易. Mm. Right, so I think that's the whole point of why my NFT project exists. And it's also very fun uh, because in the future, I do see the smart contract of NFT being implemented. Oh, wow, smart contract. I, I know this a lot, but I don't mm. know what is it. So it means like, uh, when I buy land, like you buy a house, right? You are willing to pay that amount, like few hundred thousand for the house mm -hmm. because you can prove that the house belongs to you. Mm. You have the title. So for digital space, right? I cannot put in 300,000 for nothing. So the NFT technology, which is a smart contract, becomes the receipt or title for that asset. Oh, okay, okay. So if I tie physical assets to this virtual asset, right? Like they are doing it for watch really. And it's only about time where I think property will be part of it mm. if the developer knows how to do it. It's going to be so cool. Like mm. now to buy a property, right? when you pay money, it, you need to wait six months mm. to get the keys. Eh, I forgot already. Yeah, around that. Maybe less than that. Three months, four months. Three months month you get the keys already. Yeah? I think so. Wow, so fast. Huh? Eh, I forgot already the timeline. Wow, three months. <laughs> <laughs> three months very fast. Eh? Uh, six months is it usually? Let's say if I get this, like from where? Like after sign SBA, uh, after then, you place booking oh six months okay uh, yeah should be around six months uh, okay. so your so you place booking then you're going to get loan yeah this <coughs> and that land office stamping mm, 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 mm. was it very stressful to you like this is your first property right? yeah uh, it's not stressful it's just like a lot of steps only a lot of steps yeah. right mm, I think a runner do la, basically uh. yeah uh, I think I think acquiring is not how to say not difficult. Just after that, like you're planning, like design, what renovation. To do, renovation is more la, But I think it's because difficult. of you la, You are being an artist. You you really know what you want in your space lah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I, it's like how for me. Say, I just finish it right now only. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're different la. Uh. And then and then also like how to say I got one question. It's mm. like. When I look when I look at a property, I first I look at the layout. But why most of the how to say the property the layout is the same? Okay, when you go in straight, it's a living room, kitchen. Then the all room is a <laughs> yep. side. Yeah. When I so, look at the how to say um, other YouTube channels say like, never not never too small. Mm, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And others like uh interior design book, like eh, why their layout can be so interesting one. Yep. So um first of all overseas buildings right mm. um they are more of a luxury stuff. so like for malaysia we are a developing country mm. so our development takes place rapidly like we built a lot of apartments right? and why all our apartments look the same because of how we measure profitability oh. and based on authority requirements because we have the fire requirements like for example from a dead end to the nearest door it needs to be 8 meters. If anything more than that, I need a separate door. Mm. Then from the leaf, when I come out, right, there will be a fire door to partition the the corridor. If, mm, yeah. yeah. So if there's not enough ventilation, I cannot do that. So <clears throat> how the developer calculate uh, money making, right, is based on the efficiency of the floor plate. Mm. Imagine the whole floor like that, right? I will have 12 units. But 12 units will be sharing the same common areas like the refill chamber, mm. the corridor and things like that. But when I sell to you, I can only sell the unit space. Mm. I cannot sell corridor to you. Ma. Yeah. So it wouldn't make sense for me to build a very big corridor mm. because I cannot sell. I built so much for what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's more like profit thing. Yeah, yeah, so I built the ceiling so high for what? So a lot of people think like, Sean, like 100 mm, 200, like 200 mm, what difference does it make? When you have 48 stories... It made a lot of difference. Yes. In terms of wall finishes for every... Like even cabling yeah. or whatsoever. Even 2.7 ceiling height 
uh, three meters ceiling height. Yeah. Yes. If you're so times 40, it will be a lot. Correct. Then when you have such layout, so like the corridor, uh, they are single loaded and double loaded corridor. It means this corridor is shared by units from two sides mm. or is it shared by units of only one side? Like old buildings are all one side. One. Mm. <laughs> but only new buildings, right? It's shared by two sides. Why the efficiency is higher. More people use the corridor. Mm. Plus I built less corridor. Yeah. And after that, right, because of this layout, and then I come out what needs to be sustainable in terms of cost is the ventilation. Mm. So it is always a debate to place your bathrooms to an open area. So you have a window to your toilet. Yeah. Right? Then in order to do so, I will add voids to the corridor. Mm. But voids, very eerie and sometimes. So new, with new buildings that has more budget, their toilets now are all mechanical ventilated. Meaning like turn they on have the, the switch and then the fan is it? Yeah, yeah, oh. they have a the ventilation fan. <clears throat> so it draws out to the pipe, right? Mm. Then it's also a debate whether to put all bedrooms attached to the facade line so all units got view. Oh. Because you want very special one but the bedroom dark one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and our climate also is very predictable. We have only... Two seasons. Ah. Uh, Rain and shine. Uh, yeah. So really two only. <laughs> That's why like for uh, overseas one, they have to cater for winter time. Oh. They have to cater for summer. They have to cater for different climates. Yeah. That's why their architectural becomes way more complex. Ours, we just really need to manage rain only. Oh. Rain is our biggest problem. It's my biggest problem too. Yes. <laughs> Correct. So that's why it's very, very... Uh, interesting to see architecture from different areas. Like if in, if it's in Penang, right? I think the facade treatment a bit different, right? Yes. Because of the sea, like from KL, no sea lah, right? We got concrete only. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and because of all that elements, right? That's why all apartments looks the same. Mm. Then we have a different problem now. For no, I won't say problem. It's a different language of design where. In order for building A, B, C, D to all look different, they will design their facilities differently, making it a selling point. Oh, for example? Like you buy building A, 700 square feet, you have this infinity edge pool. Oh, okay. Then like, mm, not my kind of thing. Uh, apartment B, project B. Oh, I have a sky deck. Can see Gunding here, can see KLCC there. Oh. Okay. Third one, I got a tennis court with basketball court. Oh, I like basketball. So I resonate more with Project C. Oh, okay. Uh, and then got maybe Project D looks like a gamer's world. They have all the team, like the Avatar tree mm. or whatsoever, neon like youngster like it until they pay the maintenance fee. La. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bokeh is easy, only 500. Yes, yes. So that's why after you see so many along the project or the, along the videos, right? then you can somewhat guesstimate like by me looking at refuse chamber, mm. I will determine the quality of the development already. Oh, be is, it, is it because if the developer don't pay attention to this like uh, refuse chamber, what makes you think like they will like, Yes, is it something like that? If you don't do your outline nicely and highlight nicely, right? I don't need to look at the whole. Yeah, already you can guess uh, this one. Yeah, this one just do for the money yeah. forever like just Sao Kong, right? Mm. <clears throat> but for developers, I think it's the same. That area is, I would think, besides your corridor and lobby, the most frequent place is refuse chamber. Mm. I throw rubbish twice a day, morning, evening. Mm. <laughs> so if I go in every day, the experience needs to be somewhat pleasant. Mm. Don't like dark, dark, go through three doors just to mm. throw one rubbish. That inside the piping here, yeah, there. yeah, 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 cockroach. Ah, then yeah. So that is how I determine whether a management is working, but sometimes the managers also blame the design. Oh. So many doors are you expect the cleaner, the auntie, <coughs> excuse me, to pull the rubbish thing over three oh. fire doors, you know. Yeah, yeah, one door, go in, another door. Ah, uh, go in. Then sometimes it has a two-door design where they want to isolate out the smell. Mm. The auntie very clean, right? Every morning. Every evening. 
Oh, every uh, evening. So, so like they will usually clear twice or once a day. Wow. Yeah, yeah so all these are, I think, experience mm. by myself. Like, I used to stay also in JB. I stay next to the refuse chamber. Wow. Every morning, right, the door slam wakes me up. Right? Boom. <laughs> uh, boom, 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 boom. I'm like, okay, there were six residents. Wow. <laughs> then evenings after dinner. Oh. After you clean up everything, your cooking, everything that you go and throw, again, six. Mm. <laughs> so to me, it's... Uh, yeah, that's why all those I shared in the videos. Uh, and it, I, I somewhat hope that it helps with the those buying buyer, process. Buyer, yeah. Mm, mm. But anyway, you get <clears throat> too much about property. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's a property channel, but if I were to like want to engage you, like have you drawn residential projects? Residential as if house house wow rarely usually I wouldn't recommend mm. like okay like unless I'm your diehard big fan uh. Uh, I still <laughs> wouldn't recommend mm. like okay you firstly it's like okay you think like outside graffiti is very nice because your experience the space is wide you know broad mm. but when you apply in in how to say in your room or master bedroom or something mm. right. It's somehow the experience is different because you are confined in the space and mm. then one graffiti whole, whole thing on the wall. It feels like the, the feel is more intense, you know? Yep. Yeah. Yep. The, I, think the, I think the scale. The scale, the space. Yeah. Mm, mm, the, yeah. True. Okay. No house. <laughs> What's it's not, not house. Just not recommend. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Like then for public buildings like offices yes those like the main lobby those i think mm. it's still fine yeah right? still fine it's like how to say bigger space yeah mm -hmm. cool and how do people see your work where do you put your work on uh you mean on social or on the real life real life on and social like if i want to today mm. i have a shop lot okay I have a side wall and I want I have a cafe next to it. So I want to draw something la, to create who ha people take picture. Mm. Why where do I look, look uh, for? You, you can go to my Instagram, C L O K W O R K Clockwork or mm. website like I am clockwork.com. Oh yeah, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Why clockwork? Ah? Any Okay. When I started graffiti, right, I I spray my name like Chen, like my real name Chen. And then it was like Man, it's like not cool. This name we got graffiti spray like Sean, James, Alex, mm. like that one. Then I okay. Then I go home and then check the dictionaries, like to check the C section. Mm. Okay. Not the not the uh pregnant one C uh, section. Okay. Uh. okay, then I check and then I like five 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 and then I uh came across cloak. Mm. And then I think oh it's cool name, it means like stealth, hidden, you yeah. know, mystery, something like that. And then I search it Google, like got any artist used it used that name before mm. or not? Okay, luckily no one at the point. Then okay lah, clock lah. And then work for me is like I want to how to say showcase my work. Mm. And it somehow when it blend together, it become like clockwork means like it's like hidden movement, you know. Mm. Today you drive by this street, it's like clean concrete wall. Then tomorrow you came come again, eh, suddenly got one graphic. You don't mm. know when happened, you don't know. Like what's the progress or something? Yeah. So do have you came across trouble of graffiti on public walls? Uh, most of the time it's a very good experience. Like TPKL police pass by, they will like horn and then they give a thumbs up and then they go. Actually, is it is it legal? Uh, it's a gray area. Yeah. If we do it nicely, I think the authority also like how to say enjoy. Do yeah. you? Is there a requirement to get? like permission to do have you applied uh, on on public wall it's like you see uh, like um, don't like spray like residential wall or something okay, like uh, private uh, mm. wall um, public wall is okay but if got like how to say shop loss or something like ask the owner first for permission mm. yeah mm. You, when I spray I want a piece of mind I don't want to like, spray halfway and then hang on there like 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 outline or something mm. yeah mm. And came across, yeah, trouble just once. Uh. Mm. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I never thought that graffiti could... Okay, we, I have seen graffiti that changed the whole space. Mm. Then if there's a maestro at work, suddenly a lot of people 
newbies also try to present the work next to the maestros one. Mm. Then it looks cool. So the, suddenly the whole street, right, it will be so lively because full of colours mm. instead of just grey. And that changed the vibe. Then suddenly you have uh, food trucks, then you have things, then people mm. start buy dong or whatever. I've seen that personally. But then I've also seen a lot of people just spray for ugliness just to express and just to buy a can, right? It's, then they jiao. So I think it's a very important message to distinguish these two are different. Mm. You guys are doing art that those are really vandalizing, right? Mm. Maybe they have extra pocket money, want to try some like spray and then just spray and go. Yeah. I, I don't think so. Also, especially those gang signs. Right? Oh. You spray all those gang signs. Right? <sighs> How I wish... That's why I really... Okay, the whole reason of me getting you here is to spread that message also. Mm. Like, graffiti can be very popular, can be very positive. Like, what you do for the Food Panda and Emart, those are really mind-changing, mind-blowing for me to a certain extent. It's so commercialized, but that... It's original. Mm-hmm. It's still you, one on one. No one else can do the same thing, and it can make you a living. You can buy your own property at such a young age, and Wait, you young, young anymore. Hey, young lah, bro. <laughs> 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 you all live until ninety, so you are young, and okay. you think about it, right? Uh, a, a a passion of yours can make a living one if you pay more attention to it. And what I like is also the discipline that you did. Because your money can go big, small, big, small. Ma. But if your spending is always at the minimal, I think it will be fine. Mm. Right? I think because people adjust their spending to their earnings. Oh, yeah. I get what you mean. It's uh, like, okay, I earn this much. My living also must up- upgrade a bit. Yeah. So, but when the money starts dropping it's very hard to downgrade your living. Yeah. It's like, I enjoy this food, suddenly I need to downgrade to sandwich. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I hope these videos, right, really can somewhat inspire a lot of young artists and young people and young uh, digital impressionists, people who want to express themselves. Like. So it's a really good space right now, but especially when we have NFTs and we have a live example of people who made it but I think you have still a very, very long way to go. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, Definitely. Okay, so much more potential that you can do. And I do hope, because it's a very fun alternative from a developer standpoint, my lobby is always gold trimmings, claddings, aluminiums, glass. Mm. If there's a splash of colors like what you do, I think it's not... Plus, you guys... I think your work is not as expensive as the materials also. Mm. Just the skill. Yeah. And the, how to say, the ideal. Yeah. The, yeah, the idea. Yeah, so I think that's the variable and I think that makes it fun. If I don't like it, then we just respay and do again. Yeah, la. exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> and with that, right, I think that's about it for this podcast. Uh, really, really thank you for your time. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you for inviting. Uh, so do you guys please go check out his Instagram and be inspired because it's really fun. Not common. Part of the movement to support local creators too. La. So this is our podcast. Thank you very much for listening. See you guys on the next one. Bye.